At this period, early technologies and tools for survival and for obtaining necessities for life, evidence of practical knowledge of the science of prehistoric men manifested in certain practices in agriculture, fishing, hunting, and healing of the sea. Science, Technology, and Society The course deals with interactions between science and technology and social, cultural, political, and economic contexts that shape and are shaped by them. This interdisciplinary course engages students to confront the realities brought about by science and technology in society. Such realities pervade the personal, the public, and the global aspects of our living, and are integral to human development. Scientific knowledge and technological development happen in the context of society with all its socio-political, cultural, economic, and philosophical underpinnings at play. This course seeks to instill reflective knowledge in the students that they are able to live the good life and display ethical decision-making in the face of scientific and technological advancement. Generally, this course contains three major topics. First, the general concepts and the science, technology, and society historical developments. Under this topic, it will tackle historical antecedents in which social consideration changed the course of science and technology, intellectual revolutions that define society, and science and technology and nation building. Second, science, technology, and society, and the human condition. Under this topic, it tackles the human person flourishing in terms of science and technology, the good life, when technology and humanity cross, and why the future doesn't need us. Third, Specific issues in science, technology, and society. Under this topic, it will tackle the information age, biodiversity and the healthy society, the nano world, and the gen therapy culminating activity. Science and technology indeed play major roles in everyday life. They make difficult and complicated tasks easier and allow people to do more with so little effort and time. The developments in this field are not just products of people's imagination, and they are also brought about by gradual improvement to earlier works from different time periods. The driving force behind this continuous progress or development is the desire to raise the quality of life of the people. However, let us take into consideration the real situation of the human health effects of this various development of technologies, their relationship to others, and the global impact on the environment. Science may be defined as the system of knowledge of natural world gained through the scientific method. It was originally called philosophy of the natural world, since it is themed from the Greeks' desire to know about nature. These philosophers of nature tend to understand the natural world and have the ability to name and classify the objects found in nature was seen as the first step towards knowledge. The scientific search for truth early on recognized the usefulness of language and the ability it gave to describe classify and explain the different objects of study. Before we go on, let's define first what is the meaning of science and technology. Science is a systematized body of knowledge 
based on facts gathered through observation and experimentation formulated by theories and laws. While technology comes from the Greek word techne, meaning art or craft, and logia, meaning a subject of interest. Altogether, the term has come to mean practical applications of what we know about the nature, using the scientific principles for the betterment of human situation. The following are the early sources of scientific knowledge. First, prehistoric attitudes toward nature. At this period, early technologies and tools for survival and for obtaining necessities for life, evidence of practical knowledge of the science of prehistoric men manifested in certain practices in agriculture, fishing, hunting, and healing of the sick. There are five prehistoric ages, the Ice Age, the Paleolithic Age, the Neolithic Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age, which is the discovery and the use of metals. Oral tradition. It is the human means of communication. They are particular in the content of oral tradition, fluidity, and continuing evolution as features of oral tradition, which made transmission of ideas and beliefs. The invention of writing helped in the development of signs such as pictographs, a written sign which stood for the object itself, lopograms, a word sign created for important words, syllabic writing, a sign for every word or syllable, alphabetic writing, a sign for each sound. 